another redox experiment. Um, this time we're using copper oxide and zinc powder. Okay, weighing them out now. Our copper oxide goes in first and then our zinc powder. What we're trying to do here is measure out a nice stoichiometric ratio. We mix them all together until it's nice and uniform. So we spread it all out into a nice line and then we add our activation energy. And the reaction is quite exothermic, so it continues after we add that small amount of activation energy. So we'll replay this in slow motion so we can look at what's actually happening here. In this reaction, zinc is being oxidized and it's losing two electrons. Our copper oxide is being reduced and gaining two electrons. The zinc oxide forms a coating on the outside, and that's what we can see when we zoom into it a bit later on. And our copper is a solid copper, so it's a pure copper. This reaction is actually quite hot, so therefore what happens, the copper melts and it goes down to the bottom. That glow we can see is that really red hot copper. As it cools down, you can see that glow starts to move away. What I can do is I can pick this up and put it into some dilute um, hydrochloric acid, and that's gonna dissolve away our zinc oxide. When we do this, the zinc oxide is removed, and then we're left with some pure copper. We can know it's copper because of the color it has. So the color is this nice, um, I guess, a nice a coppery color, let's put it that way. If I wanted to, I could refine this a bit more, either through um, melting it and or doing electro-refining.